was a point in the first quarter and had a transition off the stop and went to pay attention to the top of key. Uh, for me to get a steal. And they come down here at three and they just build that momentum off the possession like that. Um, and they just didn't have much aggression in the first quarter. And, um, and against a team that plays the way that they do and take the shots that they take, you know, if they're having a good night, um, you got to take care of the, care of the other end. If you know, you're having good possessions and just being assertive and making them work on the defense, defense man, and spot them, to, uh, whatever it was. It could have been 20, but it ended up being 13 at the end of the first quarter. We played well after that. And just uh, that's where you kind of let the basketball guys uh, decide the game at the end. You know, kind of loose ball here, a tough shot here, and whatnot. So uh, got to be better. Hey, Steph, even with that, with like just coming back toward the end, what do you, what do you think determined the difference later on in the final moments? I mean, they made, they made some tough shots. CJ made some tough shots. <clears throat> Obviously, KD played amazing all game. Uh, he kept us in it, gave us a chance you know, down the stretch. Uh, obviously, the clay three in the corner that goes down, or Katie's you know game time shot, whatever. But uh, like I said, if you spot teams that many points in the first quarter, then uh, you, know, you give yourself way too much to have to deal with the talent of the team like Portland. Break coming at a good time. I mean, yeah. As long as we come back with the right mindset and the right juice around our, you know, our performance, um, you know, we should be in good shape. Like I said, like probably a couple of weeks ago, like <clears throat> we wanted to finish off on a good note. Uh, we had you know, a tough game OKC, finished too strong in between, and then have a tough night tonight. But uh, we understand what's the moment coming and uh, what we need to do to get right. And, and uh, being able to control our de own destiny as we go forward throughout the season. I, w I would just sum up how you guys. I told somebody after that conversation, I felt like I was like talking to my shrink or something. Like <laughs> he, uh, he was breaking down my whole life story from the time I was five when I started playing basketball all the way to, to today. So uh, that's some good, some good, uh, some good uh, insights in there. Uh, but he's he's a legend. Man. Yeah, the basketball, obviously. Uh, behind the mic, whether you love him or hate him or want to go on that wild journey, he always takes you. Like, you know, when he's, when he's calling games, it's always fun. Did he do any particular I think he invited me on a bike ride and uh, back in, in East Bay. He knows like all the different uh, <laughs> the routes that you can take. Told me a great story about him and Chris Miller riding the bike in Maui. Um, I had to remind him I'm in the middle of my career, so we'll probably getting on the bike will be a smart thing to do, but maybe after the career is over. Great. It seemed like every time we were closing the lead, they hit a big shot. And then we made some tough ones on us, so you got to give them credit. They came out and uh, shot the ball well. You know, they've been hot at home uh, the last month, and uh, we showed it tonight. Uh, Kerr said, you guys have to want it. You got to want it from the get-go. Do, do you feel like you guys, well, I don't know, going through the motions, I don't know if that's the right term. No, nah, nah, I wouldn't say going through the motions, but we have to have a, more of a sense of an urgency when we out there playing. Um, you know, teams not going to they up the players. You know, everybody wants to beat us. Everybody's excited to play against us. So, uh, some guys are going to have great nights against us and make shots. And, about four threes, five threes in the first quarter, and that got a goal. Just got to be prepared. I think it's going to be good to get away for a week and be ready to turn up a bit when we come back. Hey Kevin, are there certain things that you think help create that like sense of urgency? Uh, just focusing on every possession. I think you know sometimes you may drift off, and it's hard to do that. It's hard to focus in and try to win every possession. Uh, it's definitely hard to you know, try to be perfect, but we're just trying to have that next play mentality and try our best at each possession. And, you know, I'm not saying we went out there not playing hard, but we may lose focus for a quick second. Mm -hmm. and boom, that's a backdoor cut, or that's a wide open three, or that's a, you know, a 
uncontested uh, two-pointer, you know what I mean? So we got to stay on uh, all for 24 seconds and finish with a rebound. So I'm not doing a good job of rebounding. I think we hurt the team, so I got to be more prepared when I come back um, and rebound the basketball and that'll help us uh, on offense as well. I know you don't like for fans and media to overreact, but going into the break like this, is there any concern that not at all. Mm -hmm. not at all. We, we definitely have to be better. But, you know, we just got to be better. You know, it's not a panic or anything. We just got to be better. And we got guys that work hard that want it. So I'm confident that we'll come back better and be ready for the second half of the season. But, even if we lost five in a row, it's, we can't do nothing about it for the starts we've had for like the last month just uh, it's got to matter the game's got to matter from the beginning and uh, we were careless at both ends uh, bad shot selection uh, careless with the ball um, careless defensively not getting up on shooters and, and I give them credit I mean Portland came out um, they were uh, they were hot right from the start but um, you know we have to be ready to play right from the beginning and we just weren't. Do you feel like guys are already ready? You know, no, no. I thought we were in a good frame of mind. You know, I, thought, uh, I thought we sort of got, got past that um, a few days ago. Um, I think, um, you know, when you when you have like a month straight of bad first quarter starts, you can't blame the All-Star, right? <laughs> we're doing that 30 days ago. <laughs> are you worried at this point? No. I love where we are. I think we're in a really good position. I loved our fight tonight. The last three quarters, we fought like crazy. But it's hard when you dig yourself a 20-point hole on the road against a great offensive team. And then you get and decide, OK, we're going to play, we're play you know, It's too late. But I liked our fight. Uh, but we got some things to clean up. Um, we got 24 rooms left, stretch run. Um, I like where we are.